Insurance sponsors ITV National Weather. Good evening and welcome to UTV Live and we start with breaking news tonight. A man in his 20s has appeared in court charged with the murder of three siblings in Dublin. 24-year-old Andy Cash of Rossfield Avenue in Talla is accused of the murder of 18-year-old Lisa Cash and her 8-year-old twin siblings Christy and Chelsea Cawley at their home on Sunday. Appearing before a special sitting of the Dublin District Court tonight, Cash replied no comment to each charge. He was remanded in custody to appear back in court this Friday. Liz Truss has been confirmed as the next Prime Minister after a lengthy contest against Rishi Sunak. The new Conservative Party leader will visit the Queen tomorrow before officially entering Downing Street, where she already faces significant problems, including dealing with the cost of living crisis. The leaders of Sinn Féin and the DUP have already requested to meet Ms Truss, who must also deal with the Northern Ireland Protocol and get Stormont back up and running. Here's our political correspondent, Vicky Hawthorne. Liz Truss is elected as the leader of the Conservative and Unionist Party. Come up In the end, the Conservative Party leadership contest delivered no surprises. The front-runner throughout, Liz Truss, will replace Boris Johnson as the next Prime Minister. Her victory speech had few surprises either. During this leadership campaign, I campaigned as a Conservative and I will govern as a Conservative. <laughs> Because, my friends, I know that we will deliver, we will deliver, and we will deliver. Belfast street art has already been updated to reflect the result. The Northern Ireland Protocol and the lack of a functioning executive are now among the serious problems Liz Truss must wrestle with. There are calls for the incoming Prime Minister to listen to all the political parties at Stormont. Liz Truss has an opportunity now to come in and to stop pandering to that from the DUP, to stop pandering to the approach which is damaging our ability to be able to help people through the cost of living crisis. So I look towards uh, an urgent meeting with the new British Prime Minister, but my point will be very clear to her, which is that we need an executive up and running now, we need the outcome of the election to be respected. We need ways in which we can help people through the cost of living crisis, and the Tories haven't done enough to date, and now is the time for them to act. For Stormont to be restored, she has to be open to reform of the institutions and she also has to indicate that she's not just going to follow the interests of one political party and one section of the community. She has to give a very clear message that she will be the Prime Minister for all and she will give proper regard to all voices and viewpoints. She has to put time, effort and energy into Northern Ireland, which has been neglected. They need to find solutions, and those solutions must help us get our executive back up and running again, because every single day we do not have an executive, our people are suffering. The Stormont Opposition Party wants the Prime Minister to start negotiations with the EU on the protocol and a plan for dealing with energy costs. But what she has to do immediately is recognise that there's an emergency in terms of people's uh, household bills, and she needs to act urgently and sh she should not be allowing big oil and gas companies to get away and with massive profiteering during this crisis. All the political parties here want the new Prime Minister to take immediate action to help people manage the spiralling increase in the cost of living. Unionists want a commitment that any promises made to help households in Great Britain will also be made available to households in Northern Ireland. The DUP, though, in particular, is holding out for assurances and action to fix the protocol before it commits to returning to Stormont. So we will be saying to the Prime Minister that, that that's why action is needed. That's why we need to see this legislation going through Parliament. And if there is to be renewed negotiation with the EU, then the Prime Minister needs to be very clear that for the institutions to be restored, decisive action is required to remove the barriers to trade and to respect the integrity of the UK internal market. Liz Trust may have won the leadership fight, but there's no time to celebrate the victory. New battles lie ahead. Vicky Hawthorne, UTV Live, Stormont. So what do people here think of the incoming PM? Do they care? And if so, what do they care about? Sarah Clark went to one street in Belfast, which shares the name of one of the most iconic addresses in the world, to find out. 
It may be almost 500 miles from Downing Street in London and look absolutely nothing like it, but people round the corner from this namesake street in the Shankill weren't short of an opinion on the new PM and politicians in general. They're all cowboys. They're really interested in putting it in their pocket. I think most of the MPs and all now and the Conservative Party, all of them, they're all the same. You know, I don't think you can trust any of them, really. And what do you think should be top of her priority list when she gets um, into office? We're trying to keep inflation down. It's about the cost of living at the minute. So it is, it's really getting bad, you know. Boris led everybody up the garden path, unfortunately. Um, and hopefully, Liz Trust doesn't, but I wouldn't hold a terrible lot of hope up with her, to be quite honest. And what would your message be to her as she starts her tenure in that role? Well, regarding Northern Ireland, I would just like her to step in here. Um, I know she has promised to sort out the, the protocol, but again, you know, is our problems all to do with the protocol? I don't think so. As long as she looks after the panthers, everything will be all right. And what about the protocol? How important is that for people here? I, I don't know much about the protocol of Alistair. You know, but they're more than Jeffrey Tolles and he do a good job. You know, as long as they keep that, as as they keep that there flying high, that's the main point.